there's one thing that we need to look at when it comes to getting stronger and getting enough work as a distance runner is making sure that you manage your fatigue and you manage the amount of volume that is going into each session. So for me, I used to do two leg sessions per week. Now I can I struggle to recover from that. So one leg session a week and three upper body sessions per week, okay? It means I don't have to give it too much in each session. I can hold back in terms of the amount of sets I do, but I can go all in on them exercises and still recover really well. So what I'm gonna take you through now is upper body session number one. We'll go for a warm up and let's get into it. Yeah, I don't believe in destiny. I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemies. They're just full of jealousy. Yeah, this legacy. You gon' see rest. rest after me. Feel absolutely fine. You see I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm gonna do more. Just put heavier. I know. Better than the rest. Just watch me grow. Put me to the test and watch me go. This is my quest. I'ma make it known. They call me obsessive. Oh, I know. Call me selective with my notes. Call me aggressive with my flow. Call me offensive, even though. Joe, I ain't gonna lie. Life's tough. Try to get by. Life's rough. Try to do it right. It's not enough. Even though you try, you still mess up. But I'm still gonna fight for what I love. Still gonna die for. So the key for your warm ups is one, don't overthink it. And two, don't do too many reps. So a lot of people might end up doing like 10, 12, 15 rep sets when they're warming up. It's absolutely no point. Just so make sure that you're feeling the weight, you're getting everything ready, and you jump up in weight quicker without burning out. Top set, with 50s, let's see how we get on. Ten and a half, which was exactly the same as last week. Or it doesn't matter. Keep pushing, we get 11 next week. We're on set number two of this exercise. And I've only dropped down by five kilos. So how much you drop down totally depends on yourself. Normally, I would only increase the weight on your down set once you get to that sort of 15 rep mark. And I did 40 kilos for 15. So it's time to go up and we're on 45 kilos of a down set, so here we go. reps on that next week stay with that same weight and I just keep going until I get to that 15 rep mark then I increase okay so style I'm doing it top set for six to ten obviously got ten and a half back off set see so second set we do around that sort of 12 to 15 mark and we get the best of both worlds that way. Make sure when you're doing them, you're pushing them to failure. You're getting the most out of the muscle. You don't want to be stopping short. Not when you're doing two sets. 
Two sets are gonna go all out. Like a cook, yeah. I'll keep it real. Let's make a deal. Buy you a meal if you just let me feel. Get out your heels, grab on the wheel. Back to my place at the top of the hill. Don't have regrets. I know what's next. She need a fresh. I'll be back in a sec. Look at the legs. Don't make me beg. Back to the room. Let me show you my best. Yeah. Right. Exercise number two. So we're on to plate loaded shoulder press. So I've done my primary work for my chest. Now going into the primary movement for shoulders. So. Good news is about plate load shoulder press, not a lot of pressure on the back, can really overload the weight and just focus and not get too fatigued anywhere other than the shoulders. So it's a great dominant shoulder exercise when you're trying to manage recovery. Last week I did 60 kilos on each side for eight reps, a free 20s a side for eight. This week, let's just see what I can get. So I'm only gonna do two warm ups. My shoulders are pretty warm as it is from the dumbbell press, so 20 kilo warm up, 40 kilo warm up, then we move into the first working set. First working set. Everything you do, I can't seem to get enough. You got me feeling good, yeah, you got me feeling numb. Right, that was nine reps, one up from last week. Really happy with that. I feel like at the moment, my shoulders are just as strong as they've ever been, which is awesome considering. Yeah, I'm gonna drop down. 50 kilos aside, should do the trick. I'm gonna go for in that 12 to 15 rep mark. Remember, top set, back off set, done, move on. So exercise number three, we're going on to pull-ups. So today being an upper body session, you need to make sure hitting the entirety of the upper body with good compound exercise that I'm gonna get the most out of. I'm only doing two exercises per body part. Um, some body parts, I'm only doing one exercise. So I need to make sure that I'm really hitting the muscle hard, make sure I progress it and being really effective and efficient with what I do because the legs are so fatigued and I don't have an interest in doing just push sessions and pull sessions, I want my frequency of my upper body to be high, really just taking advantage of training upper body at the moment with the legs being so tired. I'm doing three times frequency for the upper body with like a chest focused, a shoulder focused and a back focused session. What I am going to do for you guys who are following along with me on this six week strength series. I'm going to write up the program so that you can follow along as well. So you can see exactly how I do it and you can follow it to the T, to a letter as well. So pull-ups as my primary exercise for back two, maybe three working sets. First working set is gonna be body weight. Then I'm gonna put a dumbbell between my legs, really overload. The exercise, I'm gonna maybe use 20 kilos, see what I can get. Overloading a pull-up is a great way to get stronger on them. A lot of the time we get stuck just doing body weight, but at some point we need to progress like a traditional exercise would be progressed, okay? So here's set number one, body weight. Whew. So generally I use set number one on a pull-up as like a mini working set, but also a warm-up set. 
So I did 12 reps then. This time, I'm gonna strap up to the bar, take my grip out of it, make sure that I'm really focusing on the movement, focusing on my lats, not focusing on holding onto the bar. So this second set could be a little bit of a faff. Gotta get the dumbbell between the legs, then strap up to the bar. However, gotta do it, gotta progress. Gotta get stronger, so I've got a 20 kilo dumbbell. Let's see how we get on. So I think that was six. I'm pretty sure last time I got eight. I do think I needed a bit more rest from that first set. However, not a problem. I'm gonna do one more with that weight, accumulate some reps, since I've missed out on a few. Yeah. I spit raps like a heart attack, fast fatal heart impact, past painful scars, in fact I blast tasteful bars and packs, I back up my actions, fact don't ask, grab reactions, jacked attack with every word, then act with class as they hear me snap, I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise, now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce, I ain't lost, I'm finally loose, pick a new silver excuse, I need the views to push me to a new abuse of being okay. used, so we got two sets of six, I'm happy with that, 12 reps with 20 kilo in between my leg, it's like doing 110 kilo pull up, Take that, move on. I think that's a PB overall in terms of reps for now. Exercise number four and five. We're doing a dumbbell side lateral raise into a push up for around 25 30 reps. Keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. March until it's over. And just like a soldier. I keep on moving forward Always getting closer I'm marching to the sun I'm spitting this meticulous and limitless While others out there spitting shit Got hits up on the charts and sit I see why other artists quit Cause people don't reward your shit They love to hate but hate to live Society you swing and miss And honestly I get it Promise me you won't regret it Okay, Listen, one set done it. Don't look back, go on Lateral 15 reps Train to a push up, 30 reps we go for 3 sets Okay, so I've just finished My third set and we're going to arms now. I'm not going to bore you with any arm footage, it's not that interesting. However, if you want to know, doing a easy bar push down, three sets of 10 to 15. But I'm supersetting that with an easy bar cable curl for biceps, same sets, same reps. So that's the first workout of six week strength series in being a strength athlete and a distance runner at the same time. I suppose you call it a hybrid of some sort. So it's really important that with any style of programming, whether it is getting stronger, building muscle, training for a marathon, whatever it may be, that you recover correctly and your exercise selection reflects that based on what you're doing each day or each week so for myself, this being an upper body session makes a lot of sense. The fact that tomorrow I'm out on a long run, 16 miles, which means I really don't want to fatigue any part of my legs, my hamstrings, my glutes. I don't really want to fatigue my lower back. So everything I did today, all upper body, yes, majority compounds, but not stuff that forced me to be in a vulnerable position in my lower back 
or any sort of area that can affect my running. So I'll run tomorrow, 16 miles. I'll take a rest day on Sunday. Monday, we come back in. We do upper body session number two. Tuesday, we train legs. So as you can see, the program reflects what's actually happening in the week. It's too easy to go into the gym, blitz it constantly, not recover properly, not get stronger, get stuck making no progress week after week, year after year. Be smart about your program. Make sure it's in line with your goals and your recovery ability, and you'll get phenomenal progression. Way better than you've, you've ever gotten. So, what I'm gonna do, along with this series, like I said in an earlier clip, I will do a full six week write up. Put in the comments below if you want it. We'll get your email, we'll send it across, and you too can benefit from this programming that's gonna get you strong as hell, whilst not just purely being a strength athlete.